Welcome to HJC Content. I am Dr. D. Shobha, Assistant Professor in Department of Physics, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Autonomous. Kadalu. In this video, I am going to take air wedge. Air wedge is the setup. To form the air wedge, we have to take a two glass plates. A, B, one of the glass plate and C, B, another glass plate. One end of the glass plate is tied using the rubber band and another end a thin specimen. is introduced or a wire. So, uh, so that we will get a V-shaped air flow in between these two glass plates. This setup is called air wedge. <coughs> so we can define the air wedge A V shape or wedge shape. Add flum introduced. glass plates is known as average so this is the air plum enclosed between the two glass plate this entire setup is called an air wedge using this air wedge we can find the thickness of the specimen used using this thickness or diameter of the specimen is determined. So now we are going to see about the theory behind the R wedge. That is expression for fringe width. So that we are uh, considering a air wedge setup. So let us consider this point is O and this one is P and Q. OP is the one of the glass plate and OQ is the another glass plate. The end is tied using rubber band and a specimen of diameter D. introduced between the two glass plates so that we will get the air flame in between these two glass plates. Then the startup is illuminated by a source. Yes, that is a monochromatic source. Yes. The light source is reflected at the top of the air flame. So we can refer, uh, represent the reflected ray AB. And also the ray is uh, refracted inside the air flum and get ref again reflected by the bottom of the air flum 
So we will get the another reflected wave from the bottom that is named as C and D. These two waves A, B and C, D will interfere Due to this interference, we will get the fringes like this alternative dark and bright fringes. From this interference pattern, we will get the interference pattern. This is the uh, interference pattern. Using this pattern, we are going to find out the fringe width, which is represented as beta. So let us see the expression for fringe width. The condition condition for darkness between the two rays. That is AB and the CD. We can write two n t cos r equal to m lambda. This is the condition for darkness of the interference of the wave AB and the CD. Here n is the refractive index. Refractive index of r it takes the value n equal to 1 and r r is the angle of refraction here the light is illuminated normally normally means the error setup is illuminated perpendicularly by the monochromatic source yes for normal incidence cos r equal to 1 because r equal to 0 so cos 0 equal to 1 so cos r equal to 1 for normal incident and substituting these two value in this equation name it as equation number 1 so we get 1 becomes 2 into 1 into T into 1 equal to M lambda. So, we will get 2 T equal to M lambda. We can write it. Instead of T, we are going to write a 2 T suffix M. That is the thickness of the T M is the thickness of the M dark fringe. Here, the air flow goes on increasing from 0 to P. So, we can write uh, 2 that is 2 Tm equal to M lambda. The Tm and Tm is the thickness of the air flow. Similarly, name it as equation number 2. Similarly, we can write for Tm plus 1 that is uh, next darkness. So, uh, the thickness of air flow is 2 into T M plus 1 which is equal to M plus 1 lambda. Take this equation number 3. So, it will be clear from the figure. OP is the bottom glass plate and OQ is the top glass plate and D is the diameter of the specimen introduced between these two glass plate and the theta is the angle made due to the introduction of this specimen. Here the thickness of the air flame goes on increasing from 0 to P. So in this position let us take some position that is the thickness of air flame is Tm which is uh, from the distance of origin x m. 
Similarly, the next thickness of the air plum is Tm plus 1, which is formed at a, a distance Xm plus 1. From this figure, we are going to calculate the Tm plus 1 and Tm. Before that, we have to simplify these two equations. Subtracting 3 from 2, we get... 2tm plus 1 minus of 2tm equal to m plus 1 lambda minus of m lambda. On simplifying this equation, we will get 2 is common. So, take it outside. tm plus 1 minus of tm equal to m lambda plus lambda minus of m lambda. This will get cancelled. So, we will have only lambda. So, 2 twice the time, Tm plus 1 minus Tm equal to lambda, take it as equation number 4. From the figure, we are going to calculate the value of Tm plus 1 and Tm and we, are, and we have to substitute the value of Tm plus 1 and Tm in the equation number 4. So, from the figure, we, we can calculate T m plus 1 by x m plus 1 equal to T m by x m which is equal to d by l which is equal to theta. We know that if you want the value of theta we have to calculate we have to multiply this diameter into the length. So theta equal to d by l. Similarly we can write T m by x m. We will give the value of theta and Tm plus 1 by Xm plus 1 will give the value of theta. So, from the figure, we are writing this equation. From this relation, we are going to calculate Tm plus 1 equal to D divided by L Xm plus 1 and Tm equal to D by L into Xm. So, on substituting these two values in 4, we get two into instead of Tm plus 1, D divided by L, X M plus 1 minus of D by L, X M equal to lambda. D by L is the common, so we can take outside so, twice the time, D divided by L into X M plus 1 minus of X M equal to lambda. Here, here X M plus 1 minus X M will give the uh, term beta. Here, beta is the fringe width. So, beta is the fringe width. It is the distance between the two successive darkness or two successive brightness. So, this is our uh, interference pattern getting from the RV setup. The fringe width is the distance between the two dark or bright fringes. So, this one is the X. Uh, uh, first dark fringe formed at a x m to position and the second dark fringe formed at a x m one x m plus one to position. So distance between these two will give the fringe width. So we can write beta equal to x m plus one minus x m. So here go relation becomes two d divided by l instead of x m plus 1 minus x m we are going to put beta which is equal to lambda and simplifying this beta equal to lambda l by 2 into d this is the formula for range width here lambda is the wavelength 
of source used and the L is the distance of the specimen from edge of contact and D is the diameter of the specimen. So using this relation we can calculate the diameter of the specimen. So D equal to lambda L by 2 beta. This is the application of average. Using average we can find out the diameter of the specimen used by using this relation. Thank you.